Hey guys, Drone Race Noob here. I'm going to start this video series and it's going to be based on anything and everything you need to know about FPV drone racing. So my background in RC aeronautics is fixed wing. I started flying fixed wing aircraft probably about 15 years ago. Done it pretty regularly. I had a little break a few years back but got back into it and then about a year and a half ago, a little over a year and a half ago, I was introduced to a quadcopter. Now I ended up building QAV 400, as you can see here, CC3D, it's got FPV equipment on it. I actually CNC milled these arms, custom made. This introduced me to quadcopters. I fell in love with it, couldn't get enough of it, absolutely loved everything about it. I ended up pre-ordering the Vortex 285, which is this dog right here and it was really really hard to fly uh, I got really discouraged with it I thought there was something wrong with me I ended up moving away from flying quadcopters for a couple months ended up finding out that it was a design flaw the holes drilled for aligning the motors weren't precise enough so I ended up shimming these after I got back into it and it flies a little better now but anyways what got me back into it was about two months ago, my dad actually started flying FPV, and that completely re-sparked my interest, okay? So I ended up going online, researching, looking up everything I could about beginners in FPV, because before with the QAV400, I had mainly flown line of sight. I had done a little bit of FPV, not very much. I didn't get good at it at all. And then I got the Vortex, got discouraged, Stopped doing it for a few months. My dad did it, went online, researched. After, after researching, I ended up finding out that a lot of guys were suggesting a 180, 180 millimeter quadcopter. So I researched a little more at my local hobby shop, the drone store. I found this MRM 180. I actually had them build this one and I have not stopped flying it. I have flown it almost every single day I can't get enough I absolutely love it there's nothing else like it out there it's a blast after I had this built I decided I want to start building my own stuff so I ended up getting a QAV 210 which is this guy right here 210 millimeters from center to center it's actually got the Emax red base motors on it runs five inch propellers while I was building this, I ran into some problems with programming, ESCs, and I just had a lot of issues. And there were a lot of things I couldn't find online. I ended up having to either ask people at my hobby shop, ask other pilots, go online, start forum threads. And so these videos are basically designed to compile all the data that I've, I've found and to find new data and put it all in one place for you guys. So basically this video is to test the waters to see if this is something you guys are interested in if it is subscribe like ask questions let me know what you guys are having problems with like I said I've only been doing this seriously for about a month now so I'm really new a lot of the stuff we're gonna learn together so any problems that you guys run into I am more than willing to research and try and figure out and we'll both learn it together but for now I'm gonna make videos on stuff that I already know I'm gonna do things like homemade gates I set up a race course at the local high school on their soccer field and I use homemade gates made out of half inch PVC and pool noodles. I think I made about two gates for 10 bucks. 10 bucks for two gates, which the only other gates I've found anywhere near that are about $30 for one gate and these work just as well. Another thing I plan to do is build videos. I am planning on building a, probably an MRM dagger next. I'm actually in the process of building a Tweaker 180 right now. That's this guy right here. Same size as the MRM, but as you can see, it's got a little different style. This is an X frame, and this one has straight across to a Y. And oddly enough, most of the time when you see these frames, most of the ones I've seen, they actually fly like this where this Y is the back. That is not the case with this one. The camera mounts right here, so this Y is the front. So I'm really curious to see how this one flies. The only reason I haven't flown it yet is because this has the 
T motors on it. For the clockwise motors and the counterclockwise motors, they have right and left turn nuts. And I dropped one somewhere in here. I have no idea where it went. I pulled everything out of here and could not find it. It disappeared. I guess my garage ate it. So anyways, this is the build I'm in right now. Really excited about this one. But yeah, the MRM Dagger. It's probably the next one I'm going to build. My dad built one of those and he loves it. It's not super fast, but it handles really, really well. So that is something I'm looking to do in the future, and I'm probably going to do a build video on it. When I do that, we can go through everything from the construction of the quad to what types of motors, ESCs, soldering tips, power distribution boards, and flight controllers. That's one of the big ones. Programming and understanding flight controllers and PIDs especially is really important if you want to be serious in this hobby. Like I said, I'm going to be learning a lot of this stuff with you guys. Give me ideas. Ask questions. Let me know what kind of problems you guys are having, and I'm sure we can figure it out together. I am currently running Spectrum on all my models, so the one thing that I'm not going to be able to help with right now are other radios like Futaba and Tyrannus as far as setting those up. Another type of video I'm thinking about doing is in flight. As you can see on the screen behind me, I have a run cam and I strap it on. I've actually strapped it onto this one. This is the one that's flying back here right now because this is the one I'm best on, the 180. But as you can see, I get pretty low and pretty fast. Man, is it a blast. And let me tell you, two weeks ago, I couldn't even fly through a gate. I swear, I could not fly through a gate. In the last two weeks, I've gone out just about every day weather permitting and I went from not being able to fly through a gate to what you see back here. I don't know how. It's just, I guess, practice. I started flying like this just a few days ago. This is a really exciting hobby, a really exciting time in this hobby. Like I said, guys, any questions, let me know. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys are having problems with and we'll figure it out together. Once again, this is Drone Race Noob and I'll see you guys in my next video.